I had a request in my ammo factory video comment section for how to wire up the hoppers. So I figured the best way is to start with the basics on why things happen the way they happen and why sometimes you get unexpected results. So I have two different setups here, each with three lights and two switches. So I'm going to wire this switch down to this connector, from this connector to light number one, and from this connector to light number two. Then I'm going to take this switch, bring it down to this connector over here. Then from this connector to light number two. And light number three. So. Hopefully, switch one would turn on white one and two, and the second one would turn on two and three. We'll hook it up to the generator to get power. Make sure the switches are off. And we'll start up the generator. Now, switches are powered. And we throw this switch, and what happens? All three lights came on. That off. And turn on the other switch, and what happens? All three lights came on. So, what's going on? Now, a lot of people already know what's going on. But for those who don't, power travels both ways on these wires. So when you wire it this way, you're wiring down to a connector. Which sends power to the light number one. This wire sends power to this conduit over here, this connector and does just exactly what the green line did, it jumps over to this wire. Which comes back to this connector and then jumps over to this wire and goes to light number three. So even though you technically have this switch only wired to lights one and two, the connector allows the power to jump onto the other wire and go to the next light. So disconnect this from the generator just because there's not enough power to supply six lights. Now this one, we're going to connect this switch down to light number one. And the same switch down to light number two. Then this switch also to light number two. And this switch to light number three. And in case you can't see them, there are wires coming from these connectors up to the light itself. Alright, so now we'll give it power. Not with that button, we won't. There, this button. Power to that switch. Power to that switch. Oh, 
Okay, both switches are off. All the lights are off. Turn on this switch. Lights number one and two come on. Light number three stays off. Turn that off. Turn this one on. Light number two and three come on. Light number one stays off. So what's the difference between this setup and that setup? It's all about where the wire comes from. Let's turn this back on. And get in the work mode so you can see the, the wires. When you turn this switch on, it sends power down this just like it did on the other side, and it goes to light number one. On this one, it sends power down, goes to this connector, and the light goes up to light number two. But it also, like it did on the other side, it jumps to the other wire and goes back up here. But, the difference is, it's going back to a switch. The switch will not allow the power to jump over to the other line and light up light number three. And that's why light number three stays on, because this switch is turned off. Now, two things. You can turn the switch on and it will let the power through. Plus it's sending power from this one also, but now all three lights are on. Now just to show you what's happening, I'm going to disconnect this switch from the power altogether. This no longer has power going to it. Well, it does because the switch is on. <laughs> okay, turn that switch off. There is no power going to it from the generator. But if you turn this switch on, then you see this one does power up. And the reason is the same as before. The power is going down this wire to this connector, jumping over to the other wire, going back up, and it's powering the switch. Because there's no power coming from the generator. It's coming through this switch, this wire, which jumps over to that wire, up to the switch, but the switch will not allow it to pass through to the third light. As you can see, the third light is still off. Now, once again, if we turn this switch on, then the switch will let the power through to light number three. And all three lights will be on. So that's why sometimes when things don't work quite the way you expect them to in wiring, check out and see if it's not jumping to a wire that you don't really want it to go to. And the switch will prevent that. But now we go to a different setup and actually see this in use Only with hoppers. Better than getting pissed is okay, here we are at my little makeshift factory just to continue with the wiring uh, you'll notice these uh, hoppers are actually faced the wrong way that's only so we can see them as they open normally they would be facing to the left and the conveyor or the right either way and run your conveyor belt underneath them and the stuff would drop right on the conveyor belt but this is just to make it easier to visualize what's going on. 
And I've set up some stuff in the floor and the wall and an upstairs floor. So we'll start upstairs. Now the first thing we have to do is get power in here. And I have a generator already built out there. So we'll find the new pass through and that's and if I can stop falling off, we'll be all set. Okay, you want the long one because these are factory walls. That'll bring the power in. And we're going to go on the floor. Not very straight. Can't use that one. Now nah, there's a reason for that. Because of this center beam. I'll explain that in a minute. But we're going to use a piece that some people are confused about and other people are not. This one. It just sits there on the floor. And if you take it, try to stick it on the ceiling, it won't stick on the ceiling. You can put one of those pipes up and it will stick to a pipe. A conduit is a correct name for it. But here's a unique feature of this little piece. Hook, hook it to the end. You've got an automatic pass through the floor. So now you can run the power to the switch. Now, we've got four hoppers that need power. We're going to go in and we're going to get the curved pipe without the wall pass through. And we're going to put in one for each one of the hoppers. I need four of them. Now, on the top, you would run your conduit over to your hoppers. You could dangle wires along the way if you wanted to, but this looks nicer. Get it to connect. And I would normally continue them across the ceiling, but just to make it a little quicker, a little easier. I'll take that 
single connector and put one on the end of each conduit. And we'll wire each one of those to one hopper. I'm only using four hoppers. I'm on a PS4. I can't use mods. You go in the, con in the console and hook it to the factory, you'll find out we actually need six hoppers to make all the available ammunition, but I just didn't really have the room for that. So we're going to demonstrate with just four. Now we take this one and we're going to snap that to the end of each one of these pipes. Now that is not absolutely necessary. This piece is, well, to get the wire through the floor, this one is. The other one has a special purpose. So now you got each one of these pipes goes through the floor and is connected to one hopper. And we'll do the downstairs section. Okay, now we're downstairs. They aren't very well lined up. Let's see if we can get it to work anyway. Now we're going to get the other ones that are facing upwards. These right here. And... Now we're going to try to place them where they need to be. Try not to pull up the floor. Uh, that's pretty good. Now we're going to take four more of them. Put them this way. Another thing that people may not may or may not realize. And I'm using concrete walls because it's easy to put the labels on it. Ammo types. You put those conduits down first. Then you can put a wall on top of them and they go straight through. But I gotta move the wall. May have to go back upstairs and move. Some of the connectors. Oh, I guess they're gonna be alright. But like I say, I only use the cement wall because it's easy to put the labels on it for the ammo that you're making. But if you go in and look, you need six ingredients. You need copper, lead, fertilizer, steel, plastic, and oil. 
plastic is only used by the shotgun. The oil is only used by the gauze rifle electromagnetic cartridge. So these are the main, these other four ingredients make most of the ammunition. So, if you go through and make a list, you'll find there are uh, five different types of ammo, five different combinations of ingredients to make the, I believe, ten ammo. One, two, nine different ammo. No, ten. I was right the first time. There's ten different ammos in the stock game without mods. But you only need six ingredients to make them, and we're only going to use four just for the demonstration. How to wire it up. If I can find anything here. Okay, one... Two, okay, now we're going to go just to label them so you'll understand what I'm doing. Go into the decorations and go to the letters. can do copper. Fertilizer. L for lead. And the S for steel. Just so you'll remember which hopper is which. Okay, so, 38 caliber, 45 caliber, and 5 millimeter use fertilizer and steel. So we'll start with this switch. Connect that to the steel. And we'll connect it to the fertilizer. All you have to do, make sure there's no conduit in between. Remember from the other demonstration... It has to come right from the switch, and then it goes right from here all the way to the hopper. Okay, let's see. Now, for 308, 44, and 50 cal, you need a copper lead and fertilizer. We'll do this. Not jump up and down, but we'll do lead. Fertilizer. And copper. Now, for the 10 millimeter and the 5.56, you need fertilizer and lead. On this one, we will do fertilizer and lead. In case you didn't notice, they all use fertilizer. They ran out of gunpowder, so they used cow manure. Now we're going to take... And we're going to put down, if I can find it... The switch is on the bottom.
And these switches are for opening individual hoppers. And each one is going to get wired down to the conduit directly below it. tie the bottom the one above it straight line don't crisscross any don't come off any of them with more than one wire only one wire per conduit and this will allow you to open individual hoppers now, none of these get directly powered. They all come from this switch, which I'm going to turn off before we start. And the reason for that, this switch would also be hooked to the conveyor belts and the ammo plant itself. So the conveyor belts are running before you can turn on any of these switches. If you could turn these switches on and open those hoppers accidentally or forget to turn, close it without with the conveyor belt not running, all this stuff would fall on the conveyor belt on the floor all over the place because the conveyor belt is not running and you'd have an awful mess to pick up. So by directly wiring from here, I'm going to use, show you another little, oh, here goes my partner. She's going to ask a bunch of questions. Wrong button. Now I'm going to show another one, another little trick that a lot of people know and a lot of people don't. I get another one of the curved pieces, the long one. And I'm going to go over here with it. I'll line it up the best I can. Putting it on backwards, then you can take that little connector we were talking about, right there, doesn't stick to the ceiling. I get to the conduit. Then take out the conduit. Then we'll run a straight piece of conduit over here just because it looks better. Be sure you don't hit any of these with the conduit. And I think maybe there's another short one. Then we'll put another connector this end of it. Just makes it look better. You can dangle wires all over if you want, which is this is easier to easier to see and I should look at. 
it's still a mess of wires, but now that these are all wired up for the different emerald types, now we can power up each one of the switches. That's actually not the one I wanted in there. Hmm. Pull that back out. What I want to do was this one. So that I could put the other one the end of that. Then we'll wire these switches back up. And remember, all you have to do is go and look in the console, see which types of ammo, take out a pencil and paper and write them down, what combination of ingredients they need, make sure that one switch connects to the necessary ingredients for each type of ammo then you can put lettering below it okay being on a PlayStation 4 my timer just timed out so I'll have to put this all back together again <coughs> excuse me Now, we're going to put in one of the old style conduits. Yeah, you could use one of the smaller ones out of vault -Tec if you want, if you have the vault -Tec workshop. Now, coming from the other one, again, just to make it look neater, we're going to come down to this conduit. actually not a conduit, it's a connector. The pipe is a conduit. But anyway. And we're going to wire the bottom switches. And I missed one, didn't I? Okay, four switches, four uppers, and of course this would wired also, as I said before. You would run power. Let's connect this wire here first. That's that's from the switch. Up. And then you can also run power down to the terminal to run your plant. Right, we should be ready to test. Turn this on. And three hoppers opened and one did not. Now let's see what we got on for switches. This one's not powered. Should, uh, should be. It's hard to tell with this light. Well, 
Well, we'll find out. We'll turn them all off. Should all be closed. Yep. Right. This first one should be fertilizer and lead. Fertilizer and lead. This one should be lead, fertilizer, and copper. Lead, fertilizer, and copper. So this one should be the steel, I believe. Yeah, the steel on the fertilizer. And steel and fertilizer. And then these down here open individual hoppers. It's hopper number one. Hopper number two. Hopper number three. Then hopper number four. And like I say, no, these normally would be turned the other way so that it would fall down on the conveyor belt, which would be running underneath these hoppers. They would not be facing this way. This is just so we can visualize them. And that's how you wire it up so that everything works. Just make sure that there's between the wire coming from the hopper through all the conduits to this point. Don't put another conduit between this and that and wire more than one switch to it because it will send wire back along the other switch. Make sure that the wire that goes up to the fertilizer comes back down to a switch, not back down to a conduit because it will mess everything up. And that's basically how the hoppers are set up. And the rest of the factory is very simple. This is just common wiring right straight to the conveyor belt and straight to the ammo plant and also to the, <coughs> excuse me, and also to the uh, laser trip wire that I have on the conveyor belt to count. And then we plan on doing another video on the counter how to set that up and how to reset it which I have never found any, any info about resetting it so I figured it out myself but maybe someone else knows uh, but I did figure it out and just a look upstairs you've got the conduit just going Cross your ceiling over to your hoppers. Now, like I say, you can, you know, in real life, you'd put in some elbows and bring it over so that it's, in real life, it's a game. <laughs> but you would run it over so it's above this and you wouldn't have all these wires dangling. But I just put one piece on just to show you the, give you the idea. But you can run it over with elbows and get it above that connection and then like I say these on the outside are what you really need for opening the combinations for the ammo these on the others are only a convenience in case 
you need to open a hopper. Uh, for example, if you make 10 millimeter ammunition, it uses two lead and one fertilizer. And they both come out of the hoppers at the same speed. So let's say you make 50 boxes of 10, that's 500 rounds of ammunition. Uh, you would need 100 lead and 50 fertilizer. But you would get 100 lead and 100 fertilizer coming out of the hoppers because they're coming out at the same speed. So then if you wanted to switch over and do some 45 caliber ammunition, that uses fertilizer and steel. So, so you would have used up all the lead that's in your ammo plant, but you would still have 25 fertilizer left in there because you used 50 lead, but you only used 25 fertilizer to make the 50 boxes. Or, or excuse me, you'd have 50 left. Because you used uh, 100, 100 lead, but only 50 fertilizer. So, since you already have fertilizer in the ammo plant, still, you go to the steel and open just the steel switch. And for some reason, it did not work. Oh, I got the power turned off. Duh which is the whole reason for having the switch there. So it, I know the conveyor belt is running before I open that. Secretary heard it work. So now you open the steel, the fertilizer's already in the hopper, in the ammo plant, I mean, so you don't have to open the fertilizer unless you want to make more than what is left over. Because, like I say, they all come out of the these hoppers at the same speed which you can set the speed on the terminal of how fast it comes out how many seconds milliseconds in between each thing coming out seconds milli I don't know I don't know how it's calculated but I think it's seconds so any questions feel free to leave Questions in the comment section. Max person that asked me if Shag is getting a well placed kick. If you uh, get yeah, you interrupt my video and I'm you're gonna get a well placed kick too. Uh thank you for watching. I hope I was helpful. Any questions feel free to put them in the comment section and I will answer them. And that's all for now.